Hello back. In this lesson, we will discuss about manage the metadata service application in SharePoint. First of all, what about metadata? Metadata, it's about data about data. For example, book metadata, it's about who is the author of this book, in what date this book has been released, what's the last change date for that one, how many versions for this book, is this book going to be a bestseller or not, all of that considered to be a metadata of book. But if we gonna go deep about any organization to specify the metadata of that one, we need to understand and identify the keyword inside that organization to standardize the management of data inside this organization and could be in the future used as a navigation or for search or to improve any kind of service inside this organization. So let's have a look about this figure. Here is that we will have some terms, for example, the name of the departments, the geographical area, whatever, the taxonomy of this organization. These terms gonna be stored in some of term set and each term group will group some of those term set. And definitely each term group will contain all the related term set to be stored in a one term group. For example, you're gonna group all of them based on confidential or based on some geographical area or based on all of them share some credentials whatever the criteria that you're gonna work over it, but you have to know each term group will have a manager for that one, as well you can add some contributors. So let's have a look about the managed metadata service, which is gonna hold each term, term set, term group, and all of the keywords inside a database called it managed metadata, and this database associated with the managed metadata service application. As well, you can publish content type from content type hub through managed metadata service. And each instance of managed metadata service will have one content type hub. So let's have a look about it. Here is it, the SharePoint central administration. I will go to manage your service application. And from here, you're gonna see manage the metadata service. And look at that. Here is that from manage the metadata service, you can add a new group, which we have here three groups, department, people, and search dictionary. And from this department, if you click on that one, you will have an option to add some new term set. And if you expand it, you will have an option to add a new term. And if I click on department as a SharePoint group SharePoint term set and if I click on department it will open for me this window from here I can identify the name of that group I can identify the description who will be the manager of this group and who will be the contributor for that one as well each group will have a go with ID number this is basically about the this part one more party here you can add you know no, no. One more part here, if I click back from here, and if I click new, and I would like to add one more instance for manage the metadata service, I will click on that one. If I scroll down, you will have here content type hub. From this one, you can publish content type. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.